It's so interesting, as time's gone on, it seems like Hodinkee's having a more and more difficult time getting a grip and actually giving anyone anything they want. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, Hodinks. I often bag on people that are part of the Hodinkee cult. But it seems like the cult might be finally turning against the leader. You know, you go into the comment section on any given Hodinkee article and it seems like they're getting more and more negative. People are getting more and more fed up uh, with how detached Hodinkee has become uh, from just being, you know, a wristwatch or a logical publication to now being everything but that. And they just released yet another cringy article of the How to Wear It series. Now, to Hodinkee's credit, this most recent installment seems to kind of, in a way, focus on the watches a little bit more than the other installments have in the past, but you go, again, to the comment section, and it seems like the only people excited about this series are Hodinky employees, and they're very defensive and smug about it when you speak against it. So, all in all, like, even without my biases, because you... Let's be honest, I do not like Hodinky, and I'm very, very open about that. But in spite of my biases, uh, this is just a very poorly written article that I don't think actually makes the point they're trying to make. And to take it a step further, I think the point they're trying to make is actually a good one. They just suck so bad at writing these articles and presenting anything that uh, it's just kind of falling by the wayside, the point they're trying to make. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. It is 3.40 p.m. Let's get down to business. Now this episode is brought to you by the Time Teller Shop, my very own watch store. Go ahead, click the link in the description below. Use this month's coupon code T3Live and save yourself some money. All right, so it's no surprise I don't like this series because it is very, very hodinky. What do I mean by that? Well, hodinky makes things about everything other than the watch at this point. This, this is not a publication for watch enthusiasts, and I do not want that to be... Uh, a shock to you guys. If you used to read Hodinkee and you kind of fell off and then uh, you're thinking about getting back into it, probably don't because, again, it's really not about the watches anymore. But it's funny because even the Hodinks don't really like this series, again, written by uh, this woman named Malika. Now, what's funny is with every Hodinkee article, they have a comment section, and it's, like, resoundingly negative. Like, here's one. Well, it's one way to increase the engagement numbers. No one no one likes this. The top comment here is from an employee uh, thanking Malika. Thanks for the in-depth article, Malika. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just some, you know, circle jerking going on here. Here's a really funny thing that I found, though, in the comment section. Someone wrote, What a lot of words to say so little. Size matters. Be concise. And then this other employee writes, I think you missed the point, winky face. So, so pretentious and smug. Let's go ahead and just trash his collection. Oh, his collection? He has two John Mayer G-Shocks. So, Hodinky items. A Parchy the Parchy Hodinky Limited Edition 32mm watch. So, that's another Hodinky item. He has another Hodinkee item. So, so two of the same watch, except one's 32 mil, one's 36. He has uh, a day date that's not even on the bracelet. So I think you missed the point of that watch, buddy. You're supposed to get the bracelet. Uh, he has uh, what I think is the worst Submariner you can get with the disgusting, like, I think that's the, that's the, yeah, just fat lug, disgusting, gross. Uh, another Hodinky item, which is uh, the Timex Q Hodinky Limited Edition, and then a System 51 Swatch Hodinky uh, uh, release. So let's see his wish list. He doesn't have any wish list. Uh, so yeah, he's just um, another person that works at Hodinky that's part of the cult. They will not deviate from the cult. Uh, maybe if they paid him more, he'd be able to get a 
day date on a president bracelet like you're supposed to. And maybe I'd be a little bit less harsh on him if he was nicer to the people that are paying his bills, which are, you know, the uh, people that come to the website. So, uh, yeah, maybe be more respectful to the people that take the time to comment on your garbage publication. Anyway, this specific How to Wear It series is about sizing of watches. Uh, how to wear it, small watches for men, dot, 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 and women. Now, the model that they chose uh, to wear the various outfits, they have three different styles and three different watches, they never mention his wrist size, okay? So, we can only go based upon, you know, he seems uh, fairly small stature, definitely um, thin, uh, and then when you look at the watches that he's wearing, specifically this watch right here, you think this is a 40 millimeter diver? You think it's it's maybe, you know, just sub 40 mil? No, that's a Tudor mini sub, which, which they don't make anymore. This is a freaking Tudor mini sub. That's 32 millimeters. Guys, that wears like this wears on my wrist. This is a 40 millimeter watch oyster case on my wrist. That's 32 millimeters. To put that in perspective, that's the size of my bubble back. Okay. So the crazy thing is they're making the argument that like, that's actually similar to an argument I make on this channel, which I think uh, dudes should be comfortable wearing small watches because I personally just love the way it looks. I love vintage, tiny, small watches. Um, but it's weird how you're going to make the argument like, oh, men should wear, uh, men should be able to wear small watches and women should be able to wear whatever size watches they want. But then you choose a guy that is dinky, like he's tiny. So like these small watches look enormous on him. So the first look, well, the first picture here, that's a Tudor mini sub. And for those of you saying, well, no, they made a 36 millimeter Tudor sub. No, specifically at the end of the article, they talk about how that is the 32 mil. So here's the first look. He's wearing a Calatrava. Um, this is uh, a 5026G, uh, which is a Calatrava. That's a 34 millimeter case, I believe. Um, but on his wrist, that looks pretty dang big, dude. Okay, this is a, a vintage engineer, IWC, and... I believe it. This has got to be around 33 millimeters. Looks much bigger than a 33 millimeter watch on his wrist, though. And then, uh, sport. Look, sporty watches don't have to be big. Let's see. They they confirm. Blah blah blah. Uh, wearing a long uh wearing long shorts, oversized windbreaker with a Tudor mini sub fits perfectly. Blah blah blah. We are so used to seeing sports watches around 40 millimeter mark, and this 32 millimeter watch almost makes you look twice. No, it doesn't because like it's he's just tiny. He's just very, very small. So they did make, uh, so they actually bring it up here. This included a Rolex lookalike in 40 millimeter, a mid-size 36 and a mini sub at 32 and the gulp lady sub at 28 mil. So they chose this 32 mil. So it's funny how they actually wrote gulp. <laughs> gulp. That's whoever was the editor. Uh, I think it's Danny Milton, right? Or whatever. When, he, when Malik is like, hey, I want to do another one of these how to wear it. I'm sure he was like, gulp. I'm going to get some heat for this. Gulp. People don't like me. And I'm going to attack them in the comment section. Gulp. Man, I hate these people. <laughs> so should you be able to wear whatever the heck size watch you want to wear? Sure, absolutely. I'm wearing a 40 millimeter oyster case right now, but I was just wearing uh, my Hamilton Secron doctor's watch, which is a rectangular piece, a vintage piece. And you know what? Tonight I might choose to wear uh, my, my little itty bitty oyster case bubble back 2940. Um, do whatever you want, guys. Uh, I mean, and hey, I wear these all the time. G-Shocks, which are like exclusively well above uh, 40 millimeters. So do whatever the heck you want, but definitely don't do it because Hodinky told you. Um, these people suck. But yeah, guys, happy Valentine's Day. Um, even if you're alone tonight, that's perfectly fine. Watch a movie, order some pizza. I've spent many a Valentine's Day alone, so you're not truly alone. And, uh, yeah, I love each and every one of you, so I will catch you on the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Tell it.